This is Guadalupe. She has had foot pain for over 15 years. She's a school teacher, has to stand in the schoolyard all the time, and she literally cries because of her pain. She has headaches every day. She takes Tylenol constantly. She has vertigo. She has constipation, can't sleep, anxiety and depression. She sees these little black lines every day. She's tried chiropractic. She's tried podiatrist and orthotics, none of which have helped. Uh, she has lots of issues, but we're going to test her feet primarily. Look at how off balance she is. She can hardly stand. The pain in her feet is so great. And so we're going to change her life right here on camera. She has a 10 millimeter short right leg and eight degree spinal curve. We're going to adjust her neck and her feet are going to get better. Wow. Uh, my first name is Lupe. I'm 46 years old and I work um, at a school. I'm a campus monitor. I walk a lot. I uh, take care of the kids. Uh, most of the time during lunches and breaks. I have a uh, plantar fasciitis. fasciitis. Really bad, sharp pain under my um, feet. feet. I cry with this pain. It makes me cry. And the pain goes uh, like nine from one to ten, nine. I also have those headaches that they, they don't go away. Mm -hmm. I always have to be taking uh, painkillers. I'm right. a little dizzy. She has trouble with constipation, diarrhea, bowel, controlling her bowels, uh, sleep, anxiety. I've been getting those black lines, especially when I'm out, out there taking care of the kids walking around. Sweet. I would say thank you to my husband because... Uh, he, she was worried that she wasn't going to I was worried get... that I was not going to be able to make it this week, but thank God I did. How much pain are you back there? Like a three or four. Stand up. Back like this. Yeah, because it's just one. Like a three. three. Like a three? Three or four, yeah. Gotcha. And then with your neck, look at the floor. How much pain in your neck? Yeah. I would say uh, three. Three. Look at the ceiling, please. How about that? Uh, this will be like a four. Gotcha. Four, and then look straight ahead. And she already has told us she has a five out of ten headache and five out of ten uh, mm -hmm. bal imbalance. And so spread your feet a little bit. Squat. Okay, don't touch your knees, come on up. How much pain in your knees or back? Yeah, I've got four or five. Gotcha, you see how unbalanced she is? Now we're gonna really challenge her balance and her feet. We wanna see how much. Yeah. So when you do this, I'm gonna have you stand up on your toes. Tell us how much your feet hurt when you stand up on your toes. Five seconds, baby. On my toes. Toes closer together. No, 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 toe. There you my go, now stand up on your toes. Okay. Five seconds. Oh, this is how much pain in your feet? This is painful. This is like how much? A, like a six or? Why are you bouncing around? But, well, I can't. Why? It's like, because I don't have balance. Gotcha. Okay, Just now put him down, put him down. That's about three or four seconds. <gasps> now up on your heels, on your heels. Five seconds there. How much pain in your feet? I can't. Okay, this is a really sharp pain. Where? Uh, especially yeah, on my uh, on my left. Uh, can I just hold myself? No, you can't. <laughs> we want to see you fall. Don't we, guys? Do we want to see you fall? <laughs> no, it's on my, on my, especially on this yeah. one, on my left. Uh, How much pain? Like an eight. An eight, gotcha, put it down, put it down, ah. okay, gotcha. I've been to many, like four uh, chiropractors. Four different chiropractors? Four different ones, yeah. How about uh, foot specialists, any pe uh, uh, podiatrists? I, I did, orthotics. Yeah, orthotics are a and waste of time, guys, waste of money. And it didn't work? X-rays are surprisingly in pretty good shape, surprisingly. They are? Yes, wow. I am shocked. So. Uh, my outlook for her is way better than I thought it would be because her symptoms tell me that she's in pretty bad shape. But her x-rays don't show as much um, deterioration and uh, postural issues as I would imagine. Guadalupe has left TMJ, 12 degree spinal curve here, 10 millimeter short right leg, 8 degree spinal curve here, very large EOP, big hook on the back of her head, mid-level neck reversal. Here she has sway back and constipation. And so right here, I'm going to adjust right through here, guys. And her curve is not that bad. It's definitely a high reverse curve, but way better than... Maria. There we go. Good. Wow. You can hardly hear that because um, it was tight. Mm, when you did that twist, it was like a nine. She was even telling me she has some face pain sometimes on the mm -hmm. right side. I do. And so it shoots up into her head mm -hmm. and down her jaw. Good. Oh, that was a good one. We are helping up Guadalupe here because we just adjusted her and we changed everything in her brainstem. Now I'm also reminding her not to twist and turn or she will undo my work. Let's listen in and see how she's doing. I'm just relaxed. Different than before? Different. Yeah. Now to complete her treatment, we need to send her down the hall to recalibrate her spine. Let's listen in and see how she's doing now. I feel 
dizzy? much better. Well, kind of dizzy at the beginning. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. but I feel like it's like a big relief. What kind of relief? Why don't you uh, tell them what it means to be relieved? Uh, like the pain that I had in the morning, I was feeling like uh, very bad, very dizzy, especially on my right hand side of my, um, with the face and also my, my foot, my feet, both of them. To ask you the difference between this and the podiatrist, the specialist you saw, and the other chiropractors. Well, they didn't do anything to me because it didn't help for, for nothing, okay? Because I'm learning things that i never been taught, like especially um, how to treat myself. <sighs> that was a three, I think, a minute ago. Four, maybe three. I think it was a three. What is that now? No, Still I three? I don't feel pain. Okay, stand up. Okay. Back like this. How about that three? That oh. was a three. No. Okay, put it down. Zero. Look at the floor, please, of your neck. That was a three also. No. Look at the ceiling, please. That was a four. I don't feel pain. Okay, look at the camera and tell her how much headache you have right now. It was a five a minute ago. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> why? this is unbelievable, but <laughs> no, I don't have a headache. Okay, how, when you take Tylenol and all those drugs you take to get rid of your headaches, does it work this good ever? No. <laughs> Okay, now how about your dizziness? Your, how's your dizziness? You were a five a minute ago on dizziness scale. I feel okay, I feel great. Okay, now spread your feet. Let's squat to the ground, please. This was a four, and you had no control, and you're falling all over the place. Stand up. Look at you, baby. Great. How much pain in your knees, your back? Not at all. And how the feels? Felt stronger, right? It does. Okay, now she's here for what? Why did you come to me? Why are you spending all this money to come see me? For your cup, foot, my your feet. foot, my feet. Now yeah. put your feet together. Let's stand up on your toes. Five seconds. Five seconds. Wow. What? Well, well, I don't know. Stand away. Wow means. What does wow mean? It feels good. No well, how pain? much pain in your no feet? No pain. No pain. You were six <laughs> a second ago. <laughs> no. Okay, now on your heels, please. On your heels. That was an that eight was, or nine. That was my. That was your toes. Now uh, your heels. Okay. Stand up on your heels. No, other way. Other way. Like this. This. There you go. That was an eight or a nine, I think, a minute ago. Like a four? Like a four? Not that, no. So what do you think of this shit? Oh my God. <sighs> great. I'm sorry to push you so hard to stay here, but I know I'm we great. have great things we can do for you, but you gotta get here and stay here so we can change your life forever. Make sense? It does. You happy? It does, I'm happy. I'm <laughs> glad that I'm here. Okay, so uh, you gonna cry on camera like Maria did? Uh, no, <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Say goodbye. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> I'm happy. Oh, like a seven. Like a seven. Okay. Oh. Now, when I teach you a pans, what I'm doing is I'm trying to teach you how to lower these shoulders so this doesn't hurt in the future. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna let go in a second here, and when I let go, it's gonna feel different, and you let them know how it feels. Okay. Oh. What does it feel like? Like a zero. Like, but I mean light though, right? Light, yeah, I feel light. So this is what you're chasing. I was tense, yeah. This motion, this feeling right now, you feel right now, is what you want to really have when you walk eight pins. Okay. A little more, right? There you go. Let me have your neck. Oh, wow. Oh. Whoa. Oh. I didn't expect that. She is really, really tight down there. Because I wanted to lo loosen her lower neck up. Okay, drop the shoulders forward a little bit. There we mm. go. Good. Mm. And that went pretty good. That one was awesome. <laughs> I learned how to focus, how to identify any pain that I feel. And once I identify that pain, I just um, follow his instructions. And what so happens? I can get relief of the pain. It was a nine when I first came And here. this was foot pain. Foot pain. She came with a nine out of 10 pain. Nine, it's like a 0.5. She is wonderful. She's paying attention and she's executing, she's way ahead of schedule out of most of my patients that come in here. Because what happens, people come, come to me and they all think they don't have to work hard. And is it hard work? It is a really hard work. But she executes faster than anybody I've known and she gets it. She, she takes great notes and uh, we have great conversations. She's, again, doing really, really well because she's paying attention, she's working hard. I, I love treating patients who want to get better. Staying here, I told her to stay here at a hotel across the street because uh, I think that going home is a distraction, drive is a waste of time, and also the stress of driving home and being in a family and making dinner and people getting upset at you because you don't pick up the room or house or whatever, all that stuff. 
and being here is a, a time to focus. And so her husband wouldn't let her stay, which is fine. He, I get it because it's you know he doesn't know. But what is your reaction for next week? Uh, my reaction is that I'm going to stay next week. Why? I want you to tell them why you why? think it's so important now. Because I really want to focus on myself. I want to get better and get rid of any pain that I have. I don't want to have no pain at all. Gotcha. And you've seen the benefit of what's going on and you know that more time working on what I'm telling you is going to help even more. <laughs> That's exactly. Gotcha. Yeah. You want to say one more thing to your husband? Say thank you for letting me do the first week at least and then I'm, I'm thank you for the second week. I sure because, do. Because, you know, he okayed it and, <laughs> she, and it's not about he has, she has to listen to him but if he said no, she would have been like a little bit less, even more stressed about it. Of so course. he encouraged it and so I, we really appreciate it. I think she's going to get a better wife. Hope so. Yes. Right. He is, yeah. On my right hand side I can I cannot handle it. It's like yeah. a ten. Breathe. Slow deep breaths. So when she gets stressed, her shoulders get tight and it causes her body to go back out of alignment. You do eight pans in the chair, eight pans, eight pans, last changa. Good. Beautiful. Looks better than yesterday, huh? A lot. Oh, I like it. Good. <laughs> <laughs> She had her cycle this weekend, and she says that normally her cycle puts her down for a week. For normally, a week, every normally, month every, every month. month. Yeah, at least for a week. Yeah, or you maybe can't more work than or that. You can't no. Do anything. And what it's amazing. This it's amazing that uh, no, not even for a nap to be on bed laying down. Impressed with that, with the pain that it was light. Yeah, yeah. Not like before. So she went to breakfast, and yeah. breakfast was normally. She goes and all the people there there are very stressful and the uh, you know waiting in line and all that kind of stuff. And how'd you feel? I feel great. And normally you would normally have problems. Normally I would be mad and then my muscle pain will pop out like my hand, my head. And I, this time no pain. No pain. Yeah, we call that road rage on the freeway, but maybe we should start calling that breakfast rage. Yes, we should. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> Her plantar fasciitis was as bad as a one this weekend, maybe at the most. Mm -hmm. uh, 0 0.5 most of the weekend when she did have some incidences, but very few incidences. So we're gonna see if we can improve that. First the atlas, and then we're gonna teach her how to walk again and more atlas work for the next two days. Pray please. Good. Hopefully that's not here. You're doing great. Come this way, walk. Good. I think it was more strong, like, uh, I feel more relief. More relief? Yes. So this atlas again is mm -hmm. right under the cranium here, mm -hmm. right under the skull. And she can feel me attach my hand right there. And it's mm. yeah. oh. Okay, here's your first clavicle adjustment. Okay, this is gonna hurt a lot by the way. Oh my god, so what do I do? Just relax, breathe in for me. Yeah. Oh, Good. oh. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> this is my bad side. Yeah, can you be? So it's gonna freaking hurt uh, so lovely and oh I my be, god! I can be lovely. It could be lovely. Okay, breathe in for me. She was really tough to adjust last mm. week at this. So mm -hmm. I can't wait to see what happens now after all this has changed. Okay, let me have it here. Good. There you go. Wow. Mm. I didn't even hear it because of the paper. Sorry, I have a paper. I no, forgot. but it was. But that moved a lot. I feel, yeah. Yeah. I feel it. Yeah, that moved good. Um. Can you come towards me, please? Good. Come bring your head. Mm. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> but she has a little posteriority, a little sway back right down here. So I think we're going to do it down here. Breathe in and breathe out. Oh. I needed that. <laughs> Why do you say you needed that? I don't know. <laughs> It's pain right there. Yeah, yeah when it's just my nerve. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's painful. 
I can't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm. Good. Okay, that last one pretty damn good. This is how you always sleep. My, my neck hurts. Already, right? Yes. Turn your head this way now. Oh my Turn the other way. Oh my God. How was the position I showed you? Huh? How was the position I showed oh, you? Oh, this is hurting me more. Right? Yes. How many years have you been sleeping like this? For my whole life. <laughs> oh my God. She is probably one of my favorite patients I've had here. And uh, because she takes uh, the words I say and turns into action so freaking quick, it blows my mind, okay? And so, um, really appreciate her. She's been a wonderful addition to the class. She's helped other patients in the class. Uh, if I give a gold star out, I give it to her. So anyways, I appreciate so you. Thank you. At the beginning, I was not sure that uh, I was gonna get um, uh, fix or adjust from the doctor. I didn't trust him at all, to be <laughs> honest with you guys. Why would you pay me then? Uh, well, because I wanted to see. So I, I decided I to- I prove that I'm that right, that that guy's not trustworthy. <laughs> That's funny. So I decided to stay for the treatment for the two weeks that he recommended, which is uh, really, wonderful i was i came here with a uh, horrible pain on my plantar um fasciitis fasciitis yeah fasciitis, feet. my feet how many years <sighs> for years what like you said 15, 15 before years, uh, yeah, 13 yeah, 15 years yeah, yeah. yeah gotcha and um my pain went away uh that's uh incredible uh if you see this video it's only because her husband has allowed us to see it so be nice to her because uh She's uh, really putting herself out there and doing something that she doesn't like to do and be on camera. And she's doing it for you guys out there to see, to sh just to explain what happens to this class and that it's a miracle, pretty much, right? Yeah. Have I ever touched your feet, by the way? No. I would say, <laughs> yeah, I, I, 100%. I, 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 exactly, right? <laughs> Ankle pain, too. Yeah, same thing. Okay. Headaches. How's non stop. Uh, I would take painkillers uh, almost, what, every day. How, how are your headaches now? Uh, no headaches. Gotcha. Daily dizziness. Lightheadedness. Same thing. Same thing, yeah. Vertigo. Vertigo. Gone. Yeah. Gone. Ring in your ears. Uh, no more. The retinitis is gone? Yeah. Well, I go frequently. Uh huh. Yeah. They feel more firm. More like, yeah. yeah, like, oh, you feel like you have more control? More control of that. Good, now. good, good. Restful? Much better. Okay. Uh, way much better than before. How'd you sleep last night? Oh, awesome. Online. Anxiety? Depression? Mm mm. Nope. Anxiety change, you're saying? Did. The black lines in your vision. No black lines. Remember the first week, first day first, I just you go. Yeah. I have the black lines in the locker on the block. Yes. Have you had black lines at all? Nope. Well, yeah. I really thank God for bringing me here. Yeah. And I think the doctor he does a really great job. Yeah. I mm -hmm. really recommend him. Yeah. So let's just finish it up and let you guys watch. Uh, again, say hi to her. I mean, uh, say hi. How to doing in the comment section and uh, let her know that you care and let her know that you learned something. Say goodbye. Goodbye. And these were the hardest adjustments on her. Oh my god. In the beginning, we could hardly get anything out of her neck. You know, that's why I couldn't adjust in the beginning of it, I guarantee it. Because mm -hmm. your neck was so twisted from you sleeping on your stomach yes. that when you come in, you'd mm -hmm. be so tight that I couldn't move it. Show us all your hand positions you have. Different hand, hand positions you do. When I drive? Yep. One's there, right? That's another one. What's another one? Good. You say you put both hands on there too, right? And what about when you put on the center console too? Yeah. Good. Anything else? Uh, right Good. So we put these down here. 
again to build up that hole that's in the seat and now she's going to sit inside. What does that feel like? Much better. Like instantly, instantly different, huh? Instantly, yes. Now put your hands on the steering wheel. Good. And that's how you drive like that, okay?